Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a craft project that actually doesn't involve any origami paper. It's just uh, something that I was having fun making and um, I've used wire before when I showed you guys like for example how to make the grapes, origami grapes. And I just think that, you know, using wire can be a lot of fun. And I made a little a hanger uh, for um, my daughter's American Girl dolls clothes. Uh, they brought home a few of them from grandma's house and um, have been having lots of fun playing with them and we've been making clothes for them and stuff. So, um, but I just didn't have enough hangers. We left them behind and you know, you wanna have a place to put everything. So um, I did have a couple of the official cute ones that I had um, with my doll. And so I just used that kind of as an example to kind of work with. And I know sometimes it can be just hard if you run out of them or you don't wanna buy them or I know they're not nearly, they're not really that expensive in the States. So you could probably buy them and it wouldn't kill you. They're just not, you can't find them here So in Japan, so I, I thought I'd just make some. What I used is just some um, aluminum flexible wire from Daiso, and, and it's cute because they have lots of different colors. This is like, as you could tell, it's a cute little purple color. They have, you know, blues and greens and silvers and pinks and all sorts of things that you can use. And it, it just bends really well and it's nice and forgiving because if you want to like re-bend it, it does let you do that. But then it still creates something that's sturdy enough that'll hold clothes, obviously, and it's not going to fall apart later. Um, but I uh, just thought I'd show you guys really quick how I made it. And if you're interested, then it can be a fun, quick, easy project if you want to, um, you know, have some cute hangers. These are really pretty, but, you know, if you wanted something more, uh, you know, more casual looking, I suppose you could do this. Um, and you know, of course you can use these for other things too. You can have them hanging around in your office and you can, you know, put little notes on them and pictures and stuff like that too. So there's lots of different ways that you can use the hangers. I know you can also use them to, um, you know, hang origami from and use them as a mobile, as a way to kind of arrange stuff in your home. Just so many different uses for it. So I thought I'd give you guys a chance to look at it and see how it goes. But what you need for this is just some needle nose pliers so that you can, you know, bend your wire. The one thing with this aluminum wire that you do need to be a little careful of is that uh, it does... Um, it says scratch easily, so you can see, you know, because it is purple, and when you scratch with these, you can see the color underneath. So you want to take uh, your time and be careful not to, you know, um, try not to use these too much if you do most of the stuff with your hands. But um, you do want to start out with a good stretch of wire, and, you know, I don't cut mine necessarily at first because I don't want to waste it but and be wrong on my judgment. But what you want to do is you want to start actually from the um this the circle part here and having it come down and then we're going to work on this part coming around and then coming up and then just spinning around here in the middle so um what i did for mine is i just started off of course it helps if you have another one to work with but you don't obviously have to have one but um, as a guideline, you can just sort of mold things along with your work until you can get just the, the main loop of the space that you're hanging it from. And this is a thing where you might be able to adjust stuff um, depending on the kind of setting of where you're keeping your doll toys or where you're hanging things. I know sometimes you buy these and the, uh, you know, the place that it hooks onto is too small. <laughs> and then it's like, this doesn't fit on the rod I have. So this is a place where you could adjust that if you wanted to, to kind of make it match to where you're working from. But what I want to do is I'm going to put a really sharp turn right here um, to make the, the edge of stuff kind of. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I get this all the way pushed around and then I can take these and make a really sharp turn right here and just sort of pinch on it and then just push back you're making like a question mark kind of and then um, of the sharp points on this there's that and then there's one more right after it to get it going the other way too so get kind of and you can see how it's taking stuff away already there. But we get it going kind of like this. And then we just need to kind of follow along to make sure we get the right size. And this is obviously where, you know, it helps to keep an eye on things because, you know, you, you're you trying to make it to the size for the doll clothes. So you don't need to make it 
bigger because then it might not fit in your closets that you have for your dolls or something like that. So keep that in mind. If you don't have a sample hanger, you can kind of look at the uh, clothes that you used that you have and uh, kind of measure that to get an idea of, of how big you can make things. But I'm just going to kind of go around, basically make a triangle shape here. And that's just a basic fold. I'm not going to, you know, that's not completed yet. I'm going to finish it off here in a second. But, and then we're just going to uh, wrap this around here at that little point that you see here. And I just kind of bring this around. And the nice thing, like with, like what I said with this wire is that it lets you kind of do what you need to here and it doesn't really mess things up too much. So you can get going there. And then I'm just going to cut the excess that I have here off. And then you can go ahead and adjust this by pulling it around even tighter and then just smushing it down. And this really you know, changes in its shape when you do that. So we're going to just sort of make sure that this is turned the right way. And we've got the nice little top part here. I'm just going to go ahead and first focus on getting the uh, base part uh, the right shape. So it helps to kind of pull from both sides and trying to get a good, you know, centering of this, of the hook part of the hanger, because you want that to be in the middle, obviously. And then you could kind of adjust the base depending, you know, the bottom part, depending on how you want it. Now, you could make these cute ones with a heart in the middle if you preferred. Um, but I was looking to have something simpler because I wanted to be able to hang up, you know, pants or skirts and be able to put that right across there. So having this, you know, uh, free space there is actually better, I thought, than having the little heart in the middle. But you could easily do that or do any other kind of fun design there in the middle if you wanted to. But it's just about sculpting the wire a little bit until it's the shape that you want it to be and to get everything as smooth and centered as you can. And try to keep the shape right if you can help it a little bit and you could choose you know if you want it more like uh, fatter in the middle or more narrow kind of like a slack hanger so sort of just play around with what you want it to look like in the end and then I'm just going to finish this little guy off here with a little curve and that's you know just a point of preference for yourself of what you'd like it to do but I'm just going to do a little something like that. But when you've finished and you've kind of sculpted it out, you can get something that kind of looks like this. And it's just a simple basic hanger. You just want to, of course, be careful because sometimes these edges can be a little sharp. So try to get everything tucked away as well as you can in places. And then you just make a collection of your own hangers and you can use them for, uh, you know, uh, decorative elements in your office if you're hanging up fun uh, you know, a way to kind of display greeting cards and stuff. You can kind of hang them over here. That kind of looks cute, like as a way to share your birthday cards and stuff. Or like I said, the reason I made them was for doll clothes too. That works too. So a couple different ways that you can use them. And all you need is just some aluminum wire. It's very flexible and you can have a lot of fun with it. And it comes in lots of fun colors too. So um, that's my little quick craft project for today. I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.